morning, Purple Lord Church. I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to be here in this place. And today, this morning, we're going to praise the Lord together as a family in one spirit. And I want to invite you, if you're grabbing something, throw it away because we're going to clap during this worship song, okay? Okay? Let's do it. Oh, and I lift your name on high. Oh, and I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. One more time. Sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven, you came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on. Bless you, church. Amen. <laughs> so, um, good morning, Purple Door Church. How are you today? We are so happy to be with you celebrating. Today we're celebrating Holy Week. And I just can't believe that we are in Holy Week, but I'm so excited about this time. So, yes, just like Sammy was singing, he came from heaven to earth to show us the way. He is the way. He is the truth. He gave us life every single day. And that's why we are here. And that's why we can lift his name on high. So this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, Purple Door Church. Let's just enjoy this blessing. And it's better because we're celebrating Holy Week. Can you believe it? We're in Holy Week time. And yeah, for sure this Holy Week maybe look different. But maybe this Holy Week will mark and make a difference. And maybe we will never forget this Holy Week. And that depends on us. Because right now you can say, well, I was preparing to do this. I was going to do a trip. I was going, I just canceled something. And I have been doing this tradition for years and years. And now we cannot make this happen. And maybe that's your situation. Maybe that's our situation too. But today, I don't want you to pay attention about the things that we are losing. Maybe we're losing a trip. Maybe we're losing a gathering, that Easter gathering with all our family. Today, I want you to look of this extra time about this blessing that God is giving us to celebrate this Holy Week. We are able to make this Holy Week different. We are able to just spend this time with Him and make this Holy Week a holy time where we can be just with him. So today, we're gonna look about Monday, Thursday, Holy Thursday. 
what happened on this time. And talking about Holy Week, you may have your times, I'm sorry, you may have your times and your days and your celebration. And I want to share how was my Holy Week when I was little on my church in Mexico. We used to have two services, one at seven in the morning and one at seven at night. And Holy Week was really fun. We like it. Me and my sister loves to go in the morning because if you were a kid and you were the first one going there, you may be able to just pick up offerings or you may be able to use the pandero or maybe you will be able to put um, the lyrics of the songs. And we love it. We wake up at seven in the morning and we go there to celebrate. But something that I always remember is the pastor. Our pastor always told us that Holy Week, the resume about Holy Week was that Jesus loved us so much. That God loved us so much that he sent his one and only son to die in that cross for you and for me. So on this Holy Week, on these days, let's remember that. Let's remember how loved we are by God. That he just loved us so much. And he did all these things. And he suffered. And he go to the cross because he loved you and because he loves me. And maybe we need to remember that. And maybe God is giving us this time just to remember how loved we are. That we don't need anything else, nothing else, just his love. So today we read on Luke 22. And we read, and if you have time, I want you to invite you to go to your Bible and just read all the things that happened on that time. But I just want to highlight two things. Two moments that Jesus had. And the first one is when Jesus prepared for the Passover. He knew that this time is going to be special with his disciples. He knew that he was going to do something different with them. So he prepared this time. He sent two of the disciples to find the perfect place so he can gather with his friends. And they went and they find this place. So the first thing that he did, he prepared for this time. For this holy moment that he was going to have with them. And the second thing that we read is that he took the Last Supper with them. He enjoyed this moment with them. And he told them, you will continue doing this, remembering me. Every time that you broke the bread, every time that you take the cup, you will remember my sacrifice. You will remember my love. You will remember who I am and what I'm giving to you. And that was a holy moment. That was a holy moment that we have never forget. And every month we remember this celebration. And I love last week that we were able to have holy communion in our own house. And we did the same that Jesus did. We prepare our elements. We were prepared for this holy moment. And maybe like me, I was like, I will not use this cup. Let me find a good one. I will find something better and pretty and I will set up the table because I'm going to have this moment, this holy moment with Jesus. And it's not about me. It's not about what I'm losing. It's not about what I'm not having right now. It's about his love. It's about how love, how much he loves me. That right now anything matters. Right now, we're having this extra time with him. So I love this time. I love Jesus gathering with the disciples. And I just can picture that. Just be sitting with him. And just be having the last supper with him. Jesus knew what's going to happen. Jesus always knew what's going to happen. Because he is in control of everything. He know what's going to happen the next day, but he didn't care. He wants to have this holy time with them because he loves them. He also knew that he was going to be betrayed. He also knew that his friends, his disciples 
the ones that he has been walking with, they're going to betray him. But he didn't care. He wants to have this holy moment with him. He wants to sit on the table with him. And today we have that time. Today we don't need to go anywhere. Today we don't need to be worried about where we're going to dress for Easter, what we're going to prepare for Easter, what, where we need to go, what trip we're going, airplanes, tickets. Today we don't need to worry about anything. Today we can just gather with Jesus in his table. Today we just can remember how loved we are by him. Today we have time to prepare this holy moment with him. This is Holy Week, friends. Jesus is here. Jesus is in your house. Jesus is in your table. Jesus is preparing this time so you can gather with him. Jesus wants you to teach your kids, your parents, your neighbors, your, the world. He wants you to tell them that he's there for them. That he is the, here in this holy moment. He wants to have dinner with you. He wants to sit with you. And in Revelation 3.20, it says, Listen, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and have dinner with him and he with me. And again, he's telling us, I want to have dinner with you. I want you to sit with you. And this is all about Holy Week. This is all about Thursday, Monday, Thursday. He wants to sit with us. He wants us to have this holy moment with him. So maybe, and for sure, we have betrayed Jesus during this time. Maybe we have been just thinking about the things that we're losing and the things that we don't have and the things that we should be doing. But today, he wants us to sit in our table with him. He wants us to have this holy moment. He suffered because he loved us. He go to the cross because he loves you and he loves me. So today, let's sit. Today, let's have a holy moment. Today, let's don't think about us. Let's just think about Jesus. And just remember how much he loved us. That he went to the cross for you and for me. And it's all about Jesus. And it's all about him. Can you pray with me? Jesus, thank you so much for this time. Thank you because we remember that time where you sit with your disciples. And today we want to sit with you. We want to have this holy moment with you. You have been preparing us for this day, for this time. And today, we want to look just to you. We want to just have this time with you. You are knocking our door. And Jesus, we want to open our hearts, open our house, open our table to you. Come to our table. Come with us, Jesus. Forgive us. Forgive us because maybe we are the ones that have been betraying you. Maybe we are the ones that has been denying you. But today we come to your feet. We come to your altar. And we just come telling you that nothing else. We just want you. We just need you. Jesus, we receive you in our hearts in our homes. Holy Spirit, just come and remind us that in you, we have peace. We love you so much, Jesus. Thank you for this Holy Week. Thank you because it's complete different than we were planning to. But you are the same. And we are still celebrating your name. We love you so much, Jesus. Amen.
Can you join us in the last song? Caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet Caught up in this holy moment I never want to leave oh, I'm not here for blessings Jesus, you don't owe me anything More than anything that you can do I just want you I'm sorry When I've just gone through the motions I'm sorry when I just sang another song Take me back to where we started I open up my heart to you Oh, I'm sorry When I've come with my agenda I'm sorry When I forgot the art enough Take me back to where we started I open up my heart to you Caught up in your presence I just want to sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this hole Never want to leave. Oh, I'm not here for blessings. Jesus, you don't know me anything. But more than anything that you can do, I just want you. Just want you, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. Just want you, nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. As we go and we finish this Holy Week, make this Holy Week a Holy Week. Nothing else, just Jesus. Invite Jesus to your table. Invite Jesus to your house. He's knocking your door. He wants to have dinner with you. He wants to be with you. So today, remember his Passover. Remember the Last Supper. And remember that He is with you. And remember that Sunday is coming. So He will rose because He loves you so much. So have a beautiful day, Purple Door. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.